All right, Malik, let's get the tough stuff out of the way early. Can you try to explain to us what that first half was all about? Um, we just came out a little. Um, 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 I think we um, thought the team was a little um, so, um, not sorrier than we thought, but like way less talented than we thought. And they came out and performed. They um, shot, what, about 70% from the field in that first half. Um, and then I felt like in the second half, we just just stepped that game up. Everybody did and just was up to touch on, on, on guards, um, pressure on the ball, stuff like that. So we just changed our mindset on going in that second half, but we got to have that for all 40 minutes. And I think that's why they um, had a great half in that, in that first half. Malik, on that second half stretch, I mean, you went from being down five to being up 20 and now we got an eye blink. Yes, sir. And it was how much of that was the ball movement, finding the open guy, and how quickly making those passes? Yeah, I felt like we uh, we started to play together, uh, play as a unit. Uh, we was emphasizing that going into the halftime show. I mean, into the halftime. Um, but it really happened on the defense end. I said I, we started pressing 94 feet. We were up to touch on everybody, um, and it, they didn't get a glimpse at the rim. Uh, I mean, I think everybody was up um, pressuring the ball, and it, I, I think that changed the game for us. Um, and then it just opened up um, free runs down the middle, um, over the top passes, um, advanced passes for threes and stuff like that. So, I mean, I think our defense just uh, took another notch uh, in that second half to open up everything on the offense end. Jeff, and then Al. Yeah, Malik, I wanted to get your thoughts on Trey Galloway. I think it was eight assists in eight, 18 minutes tonight, nine, and I think in like 17 minutes first game. Yeah. What does he do for you guys as a facilitator? Yeah, I mean, he opens up the floor for everybody. I mean, the way he um, controls the ball and um, is able to get it to the right guy at the right moment, um, it just opens up the whole floor for us. Um, and that just it just gives Balo and us opportunities to to post high. I mean, down low, and then you know the shooters get open on, uh, in threes and knock them down. So he just knows how to um, read the the, uh, the defense and get it to where the ball needs to go. Bryson, you seem really comfortable just offensively coming into all these these first couple games. I mean, what I got, I mean, what's been your mindset uh, coming in off the bench? Obviously, it's a different role than what you're used to, and, and how maybe do you feel like you've you've adjusted so far to the college game? Um, I mean, I would say just making the most out of my minutes. Like I come in, I mean, I know what I'm in there for. I'm in there to score, play defense. So I just make the most of that and just stay focused. That's that's really that's really all it is to that. Yeah, um, on that note, it feels like, I'm not sure what the number is, but it feels like you're highly efficient working around like 12 feet out. Mm -hmm. Just what what about that range, I guess, is so so natural for you, I guess? I mean, I would say just working on it, just simply like that. I mean, if you can't get to the rim, if they close it up, just stopping or popping is just right there every time. Because most times, if you just stop, you're usually going to be open because they're used to people just driving all the way. So if you stop, they're still running while you're in the air. So, I mean, we work on that a lot, and I just stay focused and just try to hit them each time I shoot them. Bryson, Malik talked about the way the team changed its mentality going into the second half. What do you think lit that fire? Like, was it kind of a wake-up call to have a first half like you guys did? I mean, I think most most definitely. I mean, they didn't. nobody expected that team to just come out and be up on us at halftime. So, when we went back to the locker room, everybody was really locked in. And like, like, this should not never happen. Like, I mean, any team we play, you don't want to go down at halftime. So... We just came out with a whole different level of intensity, and we really like we really locked in. Malik, when coach was in here, he talked about just how important it is for you guys to get out and run off of misses and turnovers. Just what do you feel like that has done for your team when you get out like that? Yeah, when, I, when I'm able to um, run the floor and, and, and still um, down low and, and be a present in that, in that standpoint, um, it just opens up a lot because. I'm able to uh, finish at the rim, get over the top passes, stuff like that. And it just opens up a lot of stuff for us, um, whether it's just rip drives, catch and shoots, um, skip passes, stuff like that. Um, being able to just um, run the floor, just it, it really opens up a lot for us, um, especially when uh, me and Balo are consistent at doing um, the rim runs and stuff like that. Bryson, you're, you're a freshman now. Who do you kind of see take the charge from a player perspective at halftime and coming out in the second half to try and change the momentum and change the intensity level? Um, I would say it's most of our older dudes. Like you have Goody, who's obviously one where he's been at. And so he, like he knows where we're trying to get to. And so he's one, been one of the main talkers. Trey, obviously, since he's been back. 
you have Miles too, just being the point guard. But I mean, I think also those are the top three. But I think collectively, we all really talk to each other and we get each other on the same page most of the time. Malik, what were your early impressions of Bryson this summer when he joined the team, and how soon did it become apparent that he was going to be a contributor? Yeah, I mean, as you can see, Bryson, you know, he's super talented. Um, he's able to shoot. Um, he shoots at a high clip, dribble pull-ups, catch and shoot. He's able to do a little bit of everything, rip drives, cl uh, attack closeouts, athletic, jump, um, getting lobs and stuff like that. So he, he has the whole game, and it's, it's very easy to work around, you know, Tuck and uh, other guys that, that are, are capable of doing a lot of things on the court because it just, it just opens up everything because he doesn't have to limit himself to doing one thing. He, he's able to rip. He's able to drive. He's able to shoot. He's able to pull up. So it's, it's a lot of stuff that Tuck has in his bag that um, it just opens up, up a lot for us on the, on the court. Malik, McKenzie seems like he's gone to a different level just in terms, not not just the scoring, but the rebounding, the defense, being just more engaged. I noticed a couple of times he's talking in the huddle. How, how much have you seen him grow from last season to this year? Yeah, I mean, Max has been taking a huge jump uh, working on this game. I mean, you know he's a, a tremendous shooter, but um, he's he's starting to dial in on the little things with the rebounding and the um, you know, just getting in position on the defensive side and, and being able to um, play defense at a high clip too. So he he's starting to understand the game uh, a lot and, and is able to um, put himself in position to be able to offensive rebound, defensive rebound, or 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 be spaced out for the catch and shoot three, what he always does. And you know, he's just it's just I think he's understanding the game way more than he was last year, and it, it's just helping us out a lot um, in that standpoint.